All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai 922 Psychopaths. Now, I was thinking about what to give this one. Um, this one was called Sweet Poison, episode fourteen. Um, pretty much what happens in this episode is, uh, Basically, it's the same, it's been, it's been pretty much, this is another plot by Makishima. Now, in the beginning of the episode, we had, um, this guy with this helmet. He's got this freaking helmet on, walking into this pharmacy and asking for this medicine. And his psychopath, um, is good. It's clean. It's okay. And there's no problem with it. And that's what we believe to be the situation that that is at. And that goes into um, another situation. Because he's asking for this medicine and he just fucking murders these two people. He takes a, a fucking scissor in this guy's throat. And kills this other woman that's in the pharmacy. And it is called Sweet Poison. And pretty much everyone's there, you know, whole gang, you know, uh, Kagari, Akane, Gino, Gino's father, um, Kogami. And they're trying to figure out pretty much what was going down here. And they're thinking that this guy is just like Makishima. But that's not the whole story. Basically, they induced is that the helmet obviously shielded his psychopaths. This they could not it could not give a proper scan of what his actual path, what color he was, what level he was of his psychopaths. So they were trying to figure out if he was like Mikishima or if he wasn't. Basically, they uh, are obviously going to have to investigate this and figure out who this person was. Now, I want to give this a five because of what happened later on Dom in the episode. But I'm going to give this a four and a half. And I know people wanted me to give this a five because of what went down. It was pretty fucked up what went down later on. It was pretty fucked up. So this guy basically, and it's not just him, there's more people. That Makishima put in into this this, this 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 crime. Um and basically Akane, her psyche, if you will, during this whole situation, is very unstable. She um feels well, she, yeah, basically she feels unstable. She doesn't feel she feels a mist. She doesn't, you know what I mean? She feels a mist with this whole situation. And basically what happens is um, they hunt, they go, or they're trying to hunt down these people who are doing these crimes. And, you know, it was referenced from her in the episode early on that, oh, that no one is no one in this in this city can be judged like normally. That they they're just like Makishima. No one in the city is safe, you know, and so on and so forth. What ends on happening is there's an another incident where this woman gets fucking attacked, broad in, in the open, in the open. This guy gets his hammer, and he's got the helmet on, and starts attacking this girl with his hammer, and rips off her clothes and shit, and everyone is just standing there with their phone going like this. I'm like, what? What? Now, this is what I mean when I say I want to give this a five out of five, but I'm going to hold back and give it a four and a half instead, because, you know, this, this episode was another one. I was just like, holy shit, what the fuck? 
Um, so what ends on happening is that they're investigating these things and they're trying to find a correlation and trying to find out what's going on with these people with these helmets. Um, and what happens is they split up. Gino basically says, okay, we'll... Another incident that occurs with this, this hijacking of this, this van. Gino, Kagari, and I think Yayoi, they go after these hijackers of this van. While Kugami, Gino's father, and Akane go after um, the pharmacist killer. And what he induces Kogami is that what's happening is the helmet itself is protecting him, protecting these people from the scans. And they're actually emitting the, the, the killers are emitting the same kind of psychopaths as the witnesses or victims. And basically what he was inducing was that the person who attacked this woman, who bashed her skull in, was probably someone she knew. And basically, she he was asking uh, that one, um, what's her face? Let me go find that name real quick. I forgot that girl's name. He was asking Koronomori. Mrs. Koronomori, the one who works at the lab, to, to search about it. And, and she did find someone who fit the bill of her friend, that she, someone she knew, and it was her co colleague. And her colleague, they find out his apartment, yeah, it's pretty fucked up. You got all pictures of her and shit, and, and stop, her, him stabbing her and stuff. That's what's induced. And they find him with a helmet on, and he runs out of the apartment, and they're running after him. And they find out, more or less, that he's emitting the same kind of psychopath reading as somebody from the CID. Ah, see? So, what ends up happening, they corner him. Corner him. Eventually. And, 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 you know, they're on the run. You know, Kagami's even. And the genius ball, they're on the run. They get to him eventually. And they corner him. And they don't kill him. He just paralyzes him. And then they take the helmet off. And sure enough, uh, that's him. Now, after that scene, there was also another scene with with um, Makish, Makishima when he was on the phone with somebody about you know the whole incident and the operation and everything. There was that scene as well. But in the ending scene, there was a, a scene with Makishima, and um, what happened was he was um, talking to a few these these people who were doing these uh, deeds for him, and they kind of cornered him and saying, oh, how relaxed you are of asking us to do this and so on and so forth. And they decide to attack him. And he pretty much just kicks their asses. <laughs> Kishima's pretty fucked up, man. This guy is pretty twisted. And, you know... Now, I'm not sure, but for some reason, during the episode I watched, the Sony Music logo flashed. I don't know why that happened. But to be on the safe side, I'm not going to use a thumbnail for this week's episode. Next week, I'll probably do a thumbnail. Hopefully, you know, it doesn't mean anything. Because you know how Sony music is. You, you know, you never know. You never know. But overall, that's what happened in this episode. I really liked it. I thought this was a great episode. Four and a half. Now, I'm not going to go crazy with review uh, ratings. I mean, I want to give this a five, but... Last week was just so crazy with Akane getting mind whatever. I don't want to say mind fuck, but mind scooped. So it was it was one of those episodes, you know. And I don't want to go crazy. I mean, this was pretty fucked up. Everybody was just staring at the woman getting attacked. It's like, come on, man, what the fuck? That's 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 crazy. That's that's on level of of insat. Just ugh. You ain't seen a woman get attacked. You figured, figured those people would um, intervene at least to some extent. But overall, that's what happened. I thought this was a great episode. This is another, another thing piling on for this Makishima guy. 
I can't wait to see the final conclusion when he goes up against Kogami. Because I know it's coming. I know it's coming. It's coming. That's going to be all, that's going to be crazy. It's going to be fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. So yeah, and uh, that's pretty much what happened. So overall, good episode of Psycho Pass. Next week is called Carnival. Can only imagine what that is. I mean, this was what? 14? I got like eight more. So yeah, this is going to be great. Uh, and this is, you know, been Bonkai 922. See you guys later. Killing a woman in pot in view of everyone else. And it was just like, that is, that is pretty fucked up. So yeah. See you.